Hey guys, what's going on? It is Justin from NASCAR HQ here, and today I have a very, very special video for uh, everyone here today. And, uh, you know, I can already say that this is going to be one of my favorite annual series to do, and that is the Hall of Fame induction review ceremony. And uh, I watched the Hall of Fame induction ceremony this past Friday, and it was an absolutely incredible, incredible um, ceremony to watch. It was incredible to be a part of that and just watch it. So we're going to go over the five inductees of this year. And uh, we're going to start out with Red Byron, the first ever uh, NASCAR uh, Cup Series champion. And, you know, Red Byron, such an incredible life uh, that he lived, you know, fighting in World War II and everything like that. It it was so, so incredible that uh, he's going, that he's inducted into the Hall of Fame. And, you know, he's one that should have been inducted, you know, I think years back, but with only five a year, it's, it's you know, it's so hard to get everybody in. That deserves to be. Uh, second was uh, Ken Squire. And uh, I just, I think Ken Squire, obviously, uh, the voice of NASCAR for so many years. And I think he just deserves that spot more than just about anybody. I mean, a lot of people think of uh, drivers and crew chiefs and spotters and other team members who deserve to be in the... Uh, in the NASCAR Hall of Fame, and they do, but, uh, you know, it's the voice of the, of NASCAR, the one that we're listening to each and every week, such as, uh, Daryl Waltrip, who, I mean, Daryl Waltrip did so much more than just commentate, but these voices that we hear each race that we watch, and, uh, I think it's, it, it was, Ken Squire was really the one that kind of led that, so, uh, very, very fitting for him to be in the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Uh, third was Ron Hornaday Jr., which was a, for those of you who only watch the Cup Series, whatever, uh, Ron Hornaday Jr. was an extremely talented Truck Series driver. Uh, I don't think he ever did quite much outside of that, but he was, he is definitely going to go down in history as one of the most legendary Truck Series drivers of all time. And uh, I think that he deserves a spot in the Hall of Fame as well. I mean, I think all of these classes, uh, you know, each one, each member of this 2018 class deserves their spot in the NASCAR Hall of Fame. And uh, fourth was Ray Evernham, and uh, such a such a common name around NASCAR, around the NASCAR community, and. Uh, I mean, from what he did from a crew chief standpoint, I mean, with Jeff Gordon and the Rainbow Warriors, and also his experience as an owner, uh, very popular in the Will and Modified series. Um, he owned a team there, and uh, I always remember as a kid playing the NASCAR 06 video games, and you always start out in the Wheel and Modified series with uh, Ray Evernham Motorsports, and it's so cool because that's such a such a common name to be around. Uh, he also had uh, Evernham Motorsports in the Cup series, where he had uh, a slew of different drivers, uh, from Bill Elliott to Casey Kane to um, Elliott Sadler. So I mean, very popular uh, drivers that raced for him. And last but certainly not least in the 2018 Hall of Fame was um, uh, Robert Yates. And I don't know how many people watched the NASCAR Hall of Fame induction ceremony, but just listening to his speech that was read by none other than uh, Dale Jarrett, uh, that was that's that was an incredible moment. I hate that Robert Yates was not able to um, be there to accept his Hall of Fame jacket. 
uh, but he was an engine builder and then obviously he became a owner who also uh, he was the owner of I believe Elliot Sadler drove a car for him and then he won a championship with Dale Jarrett and I believe Ken Schrader as well so uh, drove the M&Ms before Elliot Sadler did so definitely I mean it's it just a huge list of names and NASCAR has for sports has a very young Hall of Fame so you know I, I've gone over these uh I've gone over you know some of these and it's been kind of like oh well these should have been in the Hall of Fame a long time ago and uh you know I agree with that too uh, but there's so many uh, names that deserve to be in the Hall of Fame and that have not been uh, yet, but will be. And, uh, you know, I think that this is one of the greatest classes, possibly the best class of Hall of Fame inductees we've had since the first, in my opinion. So, uh, again, I I can already tell I'm going to love doing this type of video every single year. And... Uh, you know, because I absolutely love doing it today. It's so important to remember the history of NASCAR, the sport that everyone watching this channel loves. So uh, be sure to keep tuning in. It's 2018, so we're going to have some more videos coming out uh, more regularly uh, as we get headed towards the season. And yeah, this is uh, Justin from NASCAR HQ signing out and race on.